Hi guys, Lori here from Unique in the Creek. I'm going to go through um, how to order your digital inserts uh, through staples.com. I figured this would be just a e much easier way to explain things than uh, doing a Facebook Live as um, everybody's going to be using a different source probably. So I'll do one for Staples, I'll do one for Staples in Canada, I'll do one for Office Depot, and I'll do one to a USB. So this one we're going to do right now is staples.com. So you're going to type in on your bar www.staples.com. Okay, and once you got that up, we are going to go to services and solutions right here. And then we are going to, to go right to copies and documents. Alrighty, so we are making some copies. So we're going to be using standard color. Now if you do want to do black and white, um, like if you have a black and white um, digital insert, it is much cheaper to do it in black and white than it is to actually select color. So, and even if you have a colored center that you would think, oh it would be look really nice just in normal black and white, you can just pick black and white and you can see the price difference it's like two cents and uh, a color is 11 cents but for right now we are going to do the standard color okay and it says online or pick up in store and delivery we're going to go to design now okay so this screen will pop up now, hopefully you have your files that you uh, downloaded from Unique in the Creek saved in a certain area that you know where it is. I make myself a folder on my desktop and I put all my uh, digital inserts into there. So it's easily uh, found on my computer since I have a lot of files of all kinds of stuff. So what you're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add files. We're gonna upload the file. Now on my um, computer, I have mine on my desktop and it's called Finish Wreath Centers and I have a whole bunch of them, but I am just going to pick one. Okay, there it is right there and I'm going to upload that pretty quick. So I'm done. Now uh, we could add more uh, files at the same time if you want. Um, but for this teaching purpose, I'm going to only do one at a time. Now it automatically brings your uh, picture into an eight and a half by eleven letter size, so we're going to have to change that. Um, I'm going to give this job name. I'm just going to put Wreath um, Happy Harvest, or you can do UITC, so you know it's unique in the Creek Center hap uh, Happy Harvest. Okay, so when you go to order this again, because um, Staples does save it for you in a cloud, you would just have to look for UITC Happy Harvest and you'll know which one it is. Here you can add as many quantities as you want, one to a thousand, we're just gonna do one for right now. So down here is where all the fun starts. So first thing we're gonna do is click on this one and this particular print I want to do in color, but if I wanted to do it in black and white, there it is in black and white. So you can see um, all the files you can do in black and white, which is really nice sometimes uh, in the center of a wreath to make it simple. And you can also see the price difference. If you can see for the eight and a half by 11 is uh, nine cents in black and white. If we change it to color, it's 52 cents. Okay, so there is a bit of a price difference. That's why I said if you do have a black and white print, don't use color. Yeah, uh, you're just wasting your money. The next one we're going to go to is the size. So we want it to be ledger size. So in other words, it's 11 by 17. So if we click that, and now it'll give you a bunch of choices of what you can use for what they have for ledger. So you could use you know different backgrounds which most of our digital inserts already have backgrounds so you don't need that but uh, the white ones are what we want to use so this staples offering 24 pound 67 pound and 80 pound we're going to use the 24 pound 
because um, I'm going to be using a character board. If you should want to use the flower board um, for your character wreath, you would choose the higher pound of uh, the 80 the 80 pound. But for right now, we're just going to use the standard white and press OK. And there you can see it's back to our normal what we want it to be. Um, the rest of this is pretty simple. The sides, just leave it. You usually pick single sided to begin with. The orientation, we want it portrait, so it's already selected that. We don't need any collation and we don't need any binding. So we're uh, ready to go. So you can see it's 67 cents for the color. And if I did want the bl uh, black and white, it's 17 cents. So you can see there's quite the, the difference. So we're going to put it back to color and we're going to add it to our cart. Okay. So once you have all your stuff in here that you want, so you can uh, upload a whole bunch of different uh, prints to do. So maybe we'll continue shopping and we'll add one more. So you can add another file, we'll upload a file, and we'll just pick this one, upload it. So again, if you're going to add a whole bunch of them, you can keep adding your files. But I'm going to add just this one. So again, it's at eight and a half. I want to color. I want it at 11 by 17. I want it 24 pound. Now 24 pound to 100 pound um, is good. Like I said, uh, 24 to 36 is normal, normally what you'll be offered. So all that is all the same. The job name, we can put UITC, uh, God's Grace. So you know what, what print it is. And then you can add more quantities. So if you wanted 10 of these, you would put 10 right here. Okay. And then you're going to add it to your cart. There we go. So we got Unique and the Creek Cat Harvest. And we got 10 of the God's Grace. We're going to proceed to checkout. Um, this is where you're going to make yourself a an account. If you don't have an account, you're going to press the register here and add all your information. I have an account. And it's good to have an account because if you do want to repeat some of these orders to print, then you don't have to go through all these, um, all these uh, different uh, steps that I'm doing right now. Now I've already had something in my cart, but I'm going to remove it. There we go. So these are the ones I want to keep. So I'm going to proceed to checkout. Okay. Um, now they give you different options. You can get them shipped. So if you are doing a huge order um, and you can't pick them up, you can get them shipped to you. So I wouldn't pay $10 for shipping for like only two prints or anything. But if I was doing a couple hundred, then the $10 is worth, worth it. Now I have a Staples by me, so I'm going to pick it up at the store. Okay. Um, they're closed right now, so that's why they're giving me the due date of Monday. Um, I just, what if I happen to have like a doctor's appointment that I want to pick it up on Tuesday, you can change the date. So you can have it picked up on Tuesday. You can change the time. You can tell them what time you're going to pick it up. So I'll pick it up about one. So we're saving it. So now it's Tuesday. Um, you want to make sure this right here is the store that you are going to be picking them up from. So we want to change the location, uh, put your zip code in, so you put your zip code in and then it'll come up with the closest staples that uh, is near you. So that would be 1.2 miles, so I'm going to pick this one and save. So that'll now automatically be your default store, okay, um, and now we're going to proceed to payment. So you can either pay for it with your credit card um, or you can pay at store. Now, obviously, if you're getting them delivered, you can't pay at the store, so you would have to use your credit card. But if you are picking them up at the store, you can pay at the store. 